Hi everyone, my name is Barbara Rivera. I'm from Rochester, New York. I am involved with the community. I work with the Citywide Tenant Union. My experience with the protests here in Rochester have been both beautiful and awful. Beautiful because it, I get a chance to be with community, with people from my community, people I normally wouldn't hang out with, share space with people, listen to music, poetry, um, songs, being involved with a beautiful bunch of individuals that want to change just as much as I want to change in this community. And then the bad, how RPD treated us, like we're there singing, we're there chanting, we're not destroying property, we're not getting crazy. You know, we come there together, um, we're upset, we're angry, we want justice for Daniel Prude. That's that, it is what it is, and I know that there's a lot of people out there that don't agree, but it is not going to stop. We're still going to be out there in the streets. RPD treated us awful. I personally was shot with pepper bullets. I've seen some comrades... Some people, like, everyone that had attended those protests and stood their ground because we weren't leaving, we were sharing this space to get justice for Daniel Prude, and that's what we want. And for RPD to come after us with tear gas, pepper bullets, pepper spray, um, they're, even the, the materials that they were wearing, they're wearing, like, uh, riot gear. Uh, we're not wearing riot gear. We're not there to be any by any means violent. Even with military cars and like, is that's just outrageous. It's ridiculous. Just for peaceful protesters, she shouldn't even be armed to the teeth for any kind of violent act. Police dogs? What do you need police dogs for? I I got hurt with some pepper bullets. I still have bruising from the May from May's uh, protest. I still have bruising um, from even recently at the Daniel Prude's protest. Um, those four days uh, I was there, and it was awful, traumatizing, emotional, draining. Um, I'm still not okay. Like I my throat still hurts. My body still feels a little off. Uh, my hearing is still bad from the flash bombs that they had there at the protest. I've never seen my city uh, go through something like that before. And it felt like we were in a real life war. Us as civilians were being attacked, like our city was being taken over. Like it felt like we were in war. And it's upsetting. It's emotional. Um, I talked to my kids about what goes on, they watch the news. It's hard to tell our kids what's going on. It's um, it's hard right now for all of us, but we're getting through it, and it's just it's not gonna stop even till today. We're still out there in the streets protesting. We're still demanding justice for Daniel Prude and Black Lives Matter. So that's all I really have to say. I I wish everyone. Lots of positivity during this time. Yeah, defund the police. <laughs> Thank you.